Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever Peninsula where we're at the freshly commissioned Minas Tirith port, port of Minas Tirith, Tirith port Minas. And uh, we've got a ship coming in. It's the ship that we looked at last time round and uh, as much as a couple of months has passed, it still hasn't arrived. Uh, it's got six food on board. How very exciting. Uh, the only thing that I should probably point out here is this six food is very unlikely to be un unshipped unpacked unloaded unloaded there you go there's a word um uh, yeah it's very unlikely to be unloaded here because when this ship set off this port really really hadn't got any connections worth talking about uh all the trucks are now you know beavering around costing me money which is super duper uh, but uh yeah it's not it's not doing much right now uh we've uh We've got some time to wait for this to start to pay off, but when it works, it will uh, it will bring in a, a reasonable amount of cash. Uh, maybe not gangbusters, but it should all lead towards a sense of greater prosperity and uh, and everything. Yes. Now there is a potential problem with this route, and that is that obviously these ships can only carry a, a finite amount of cargo, and therefore. Given that they stop both here and then back at home base, which is, I don't know, miles away. Uh, it's up here. There you go. Right, over there. Uh, yes, given that they have to stop at both, there is a reasonable chance that we're going to cannibalize the uh, the money that we were making from the likes of uh, Los Santos and New York from the, the deliveries out the other end. So this might actually be a, be a bum steer. But the thing is... It is actually creating more demand, or it is pre presenting uh, more demand to the shipping company and the uh, associated factories. And therefore, it may pay off quite nicely. I'm going to have to keep talking for another 20 seconds or so, because this still hasn't arrived. I'm desperately trying to fill the time so we can see if it's going to unload the six here, or if it's not going to unload them here, as I suspect it won't. And uh, we're all on the edge of our seats. It's going to be nice. It's not going to unload it here. These these six loaves of bread, they know where they're going already. This is just a new waypoint for this ship. It's definitely not going to unload here. Definitely not. Definitely not going to happen. Totally guaranteed not to unload here. Good. That's that established. Let's get on with the show. Right, now, before we go and do something useful with ourselves, uh, let's have a quick look at the numbers here, and we're up for the year so far. Uh, we ended up up last year as well, which is good, given the amount of tinkering and construction costs that we had uh, over the course of the year in, in setting up this new route. And that was entirely the plan, because we've got a big expense coming up. Now, I haven't quite got enough money to uh, to start using the word big boy with, uh, with abandon, uh, what do we got? Was seven, eleven and a half million? Well, that's enough to buy one, but you don't get any wagons. So, uh, so we're not ready yet. We're we're not quite there. But what we can do with the well, best part of five million that I've got in the bank right now is we can extend. Oh, this is going to be very, very expensive. Uh, we can extend out to the brickworks. <laughs> oh no, you can't. Not for five million. No, you'll probably empty all 15 million to get that working. Yeah, all right. Well, so be it. Well, really? I mean, is so be it the right attitude to be taking? Should you be doing this? Or should you instead uh, be doing something else? Say, you know, connecting up a passenger line and running two more trains on it. Uh, you know, they make money. That would be that would be beneficial. This isn't going to make you money for, for ages. Yes, but when it does make money, I mean, think about it. You'll be running a train with a capacity of, oh, I mean, we could probably put a thousand stone on it, run it all the way up there. And because it's absolutely miles away, the amount of money you'll make from that will be gargantuan. It will be enormous. Well, if you put it like that, then, uh, then let's drive towards it. Now, previously I was talking about, and I might start talking about again in a moment, uh, putting a station in here to act as our goods uh, receptor. Receptic... Oh, hold on. No, no, no. You were talking about doing it over here. 
yes. And then curving round to get up to there or similar. There's no way you're doing this for five million, though. Just, I mean, get that through your head right now is that five million is definitely, definitely not going to be enough money to do this. All right, well, this makes for a great kind of goods hub distribution center kind of an idea uh, because you've got the, the port right here, which is already quite busy, and uh, and therefore it would behoove you to, uh, to make good use of that. Now, what we also need to consider is that our passenger station here is also going to need to run down that way. There, This is going to be a very busy bit of road slash track. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know is a great place to start the episode. Let's rock. Um, okay, now, what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to extend these four lines this way and, uh, and make adjustments to the road. And that might be all we achieve today. All right, so just you know, keep that in mind. This is a we're on a journey of adventure now, and uh, the unknown is our uh, is our is is our watchword and things. Where's it going? Well, what I'm thinking is first off, you're going to have uh, freight train. Nice, uh, you're going to have freight coming in parallel with this lot. Well, it's going to fun paralleling where you've got a second street connection going on there. Minor details. Um, it's going to go through the station, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, right, it's going to go through the station. In which case, you're going to need to broaden this back out to three, probably four lines coming out the other end. You're then going to... How are you going to do that where you've got the passenger lines on the wrong side there? This is this is uh, this is this is going to be a, a tough one. Great. Well, that's what we want. We don't want this to be easy. Um. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. Now, I mean, if you had the full picture of what I've got going on in my noggin at the moment, and maybe you've got a, a reasonable sense of what it is that I'm I'm p pondering, then uh, then yeah, then you see the the scale of the the adventure. So I want a station in here, right? But we've got passenger stuff to go in that way. Maybe there is some clever under and over thing that we can be doing. All right, well, everything starts with the first step. Let's, let's start with how many tracks are you going to want to put here? Let's go for four. No electrification. High speed, yes. Uh, platform length, plenty. Right, so that's platform length plenty, which is not plenty at all. I need a longer station, and for some reason I haven't switched that mod on. I switched an awful lot of mods on, but not the one that is actually going to do me any good. Uh, a million and a bit to get this plumbed in, and you'll need some additional smoothing to get that to fit. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything over here because you've got water in the way, which is a shame. That would, that would keep it nicely out of the way, and using a, a little bit of clever under and over, we'd be able to avoid any drama. But you can't, so get over it. What are the other options? Uh, well, that's this is another option. Yeah, and uh, the price has gone up. The price will invariably go up, friend. Um, you, you've got here... You've got uh, you've got anywhere around here now. Obviously, uh, there will come a point where I have to knock the road down and hit the pause button, but we don't want to do that just yet. I want to actually get some. Whoa, ha! Whoa, wait! You've said yes. Well, you know what? Saying yes is an important part of any. I'm, I'm taking it. We're we're just going to make that work. Okay, right. We've we've picked a station locale. And then we're, we're going to make it work. Because uh, being able to actually just get a station in is a, is a you know, that's, a, that's an objective complete all on itself. Right, there we go. The smoothing was unnecessary, you're not wrong. Um, and then you need a passenger line that heads down that way. And that might be what we try to accomplish today, is, uh, is extending out a passenger line from Alpha Complex down to Raccoon City. 
but we are going to need to get across over onto that. Unless, here's the other option that we've got here. So we know that we're bringing freight on this line. Now that's going to need, that's going to need broadening in some fashion, but we can split the freight line off and take a different route, bypassing the station here, going underneath and, uh, and coming out over there. That's an expensive tunnel. Yep, there's no getting away from the fact that that is going to be very pricey. But uh, the first step in any pricey endeavour is to find out how pricey. Right, so if we're doing something like this, and it, might, it may not take this course, we might, uh, might adjust the course a little bit. That's the kind of thing you're looking at. Obviously multi-tracked up in some fashion. Five million isn't terrible. Four million isn't terrible either. No, four four million is is quite viable. Uh, let's have a quick look. The speed all looks particularly lovely. Uh, how much space have we got at this end to do some kind of uh, line reshuffling? No, you'd have to do your line reshuffling in the tunnel, out of out of uh, out of the eyes of uh, of those that might be critical of it namely yourself yeah okay i know i think that might i think that might do the job right i'm going to plumb that in it was expensive yes but that's now that's now in that's that's the thing that's happened it's not connected to anything at either end but it's it's been done and that's a, that's not a bad place to start right and then we'd want to turn that into potentially four tracks out here don't know why yet, but it's but it's quite it's quite plausible. Okay, now are you going to continue this odyssey out towards the brickworks, or do you want to now do the thing with the passenger lines? Let's continue the odyssey to the brickworks, and the reason for that is that uh, it will then lead to some excitement later on, as far as uh, the brickworks and so forth are concerned. Uh, it it did just go over there, didn't it? Yes, it did. Is that the right angle of attack? Yeah, I think it rather is, actually. Uh, maintain your altitude, though, because you've got to get over the next one as well. How tall are we looking? Not so tall as to cause offence. All right. Okay, we're off. We're running. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's I've, The other side is not connected, but I'm going to double-track all of this anyway, right? Uh, okay. Well, unless you put some points on there, can you? Just out of interest? Or, well, well, not at that angle, you can't. Uh, try it. Uh, any, any set of points will do. No. Okay, in which case, this is only ever going to be a through station and not necessarily a destination station. Uh, what, how about you save that for a version 2? You can't just rub things out and say, oh, version 2 will solve all of those problems. Anyway, look at this. We get quite a nice crossing coming out of this. That's good. Uh, we don't want to go through this nice little hillside element of, of whatnot, though. So, uh, so there's that. Now, we've got three to choose from. This one looks like it might be at a slightly lower elevation than the others. Let's just go to there. Right, let's go and have a let's go and have a look. Let's go and see what we're playing with here. Uh, right now, here's the. This is a, a more severe bit of hillside. Yeah, I'll turn them on. There you go. So there you go. Here's this band here that runs across there, and then you've got one that is slightly higher up into the next band, and then another one that is slightly higher up into the band after that. So this is our winner, I think. Right about here. Sling a station in by the side of it. You've got the rail line there that already exists. So for uh, for onward travel, you've already got some options going on. You're going to have to be careful with your station placement, or you're going to have to do some kind of major bridge work, twisty junction kind of thing. But the fact that this one's lower down makes it the the best candidate for the job. 
All right, let's see what we've got as, ter- as far as station options are concerned. P- concerned. Please turn off the ugly. Uh, two tracks will probably be sufficient, and if they're not, well, we'll deal with that. I don't believe it's working. It's coming in first time. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go with that and just go, ta-da, hooray. Right, we've got our start. We've got our destination. Here's the track. We're going to go out, round over that. And then wiggle, I suppose, I suspect, over there until we get up there. First test is the same test we always do. And today it might be a crashing the game kind of a test. We don't know that for sure. But uh, if anything's going to crash the game, it's the test coming up that is likely to do it. Uh, yes. What about a slightly more aggressive angle here? No, 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 no. Uphill is is definitely where we're going, friend. So, uh, so don't go. Oh, we we don't have to go uphill here. Yes, you do. You we, we definitely do have to go uphill. And then one thing: spin round the side of the humps here while continuing to go up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Put it in. Right now, then. Let's get our crow flies uh, quote from Track Build R Us. And then uh, see if we can't beat it. Right, and there. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, this is not a good sign. No, look, just do do whatever. Uh, no, <clears throat> no, no. I wasn't going to press any more buttons there. That was going to make it upset. Uh, right, come on down. Tell me your... No, it's okay, it's going up. Right, if we were telling it going down instead. Roll a coaster. Okay, yeah. I think it might be possible to hit the end of the track there. No, not going in a straight line. Okay, there is no straight straight line option. Good. Straight line, and that's 95 million, just for those counting. Okay, well, if the straight line option is non-existent, uh, then I suspect that we may end up having to pull some kind of helix at the end of this. Oh, no. That's a shame. No, it's not a shame, is it? It's That's terrific. We love a helix. Uh, let's put a bridge on here that actually allows things to do a speed. Um, no, not downhill. Uphill. Down, downhill's not, not, uh, not a concept you're going to get to play with, I'm afraid. It's all uphill all day. Uh, yeah, like that. I mean, gently uphill is nice, but I don't think... Oh, no. What's oh no? Oh, the oh no is there's no way of avoiding a really horrendous bridge here. It's gonna be it's gonna be tall, uh, like like that. Eww. Okay, well look, there's that, and that's going downhill. We don't want it going downhill. We want it going uphill because we've got a long way up to go. Look at that. That's awful. Um. Well, in which case, lead to, uh, lead to somewhere that is quite high up anyway, and then you've got that that amount of justification going on. So you'd be thinking, oh no. Well, you may well be thinking, oh no, but that's that's not where you were really going with that statement. Um, back it up. Let's keep this at a sensible altitude, and uh, and resign ourselves to the fact that a helix is quite likely. We like helixes, they're lovely, but... Or should it be helices? Could be. Um, right. That allows 99. No, we don't want to allow 99. We want to allow whatever speed the train feels worthy of running at. In fact, let's put a girder bridge on there. We're very unlikely to have anything capable of uh, 124 miles per hour anyway. And look at that. That's going to cost 2.5 million. Oh, no. Make sure Raccoon City Central is connected to something. It's not important at the moment. But I have a suspicion that you may contact me again later on. So I'll just, I'm will just i just going to bang in a little bit of road. This, of course, is uh, a, good, a good technique for allowing your, your brain to percolate out ideas for a moment. We're half a million in the red right now. Come on, look. I want to connect this up so you stop belly aching. I'll just borrow a million. There you go. Yeah. Get in there. Okay. Then we head up to the other end. 
I'm this bit so far quite happy with it. That's nice. The next section, however, I've got no idea how I'm going to make that work. I'm just going to I'm just going to knock this one in while we're here. There you go. There you go. No complaints, please. Right. How on earth are you going to make that work? Well, you've got this gully here, which if you can get into the gully. All right, well, stick this on as aggressively down as it's allowed to go. Remembering that you've got an inside line on here as well. If we want to get into that gully. Now, sticking a helix near the end is, is probably the, a sensible-ish way to go because uh, it's, it's already slow at that point. Although, you know, do you want a fast helix? I want every kind of helix because they're they're glorious. But uh, if we can get into that gully, it might mean that the track that we're trying to pull out the other end doesn't have to be quite as egregiously egregious. Yes. I have to say, however, that going this way like this. So what I'd be what we'd be looking for here is to come down, swoop round, down, under out into the gully we won't be low enough to go into the gully we'll probably be about halfway down the hill maybe um now if we go straight down towards the gully here you can see you know roller coaster and that's maximum downhill so so putting the tight putting the, the the helix in at the top end is probably the smart thing to do well, when it comes to smart things to do, none of this really uh, makes your top 10 list of all time smartest things to do. Uh, right. Oh, nah, now that's interesting. Okay, by doing it like this, we've got a bridge to get under, so we don't necessarily need to use a tunnel. Uh, we'll, we'll, stick with, uh, we'll stick with a concrete bridge here. It's a little bit more expensive. But I think it is slightly more in keeping with a uh, with a freight-based line. Right, slow it right down to 31. And then uh, and then we're into we're in the zone here. Right. Okay, where's that got to? That's got to there. Now this is the inside loop. You haven't left any room there to do uh, points or the like. If you're going to change your mind about this, the time to do so is now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Am I going to change my mind about this? No. <clears throat> we'll do it. Whoa, what the heck's happened here? Oh, no, hold on. It had a moment of ugly and then suddenly recovered. And kind of go, you didn't see that. Hold on, quick, 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 quick. Sorry, just coming up on the end of the year. Figured I might as well save myself 7,000 of your dollars there uh, as, we, uh, as we hit end of year. Right, how did we end up doing... Now, the number I'm looking at right now is income uh, because that's pretty, uh, that's a telltale that we're going the right way. As long as the income keeps going up, we should keep uh, pace with. In your own time there, mod list. There you go. How about a bit of everything? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is uh, super. Good. Thank you. That's, uh, that's lovely to see you. Uh, 32 income running 19. Okay, we're still largely in line with our profit margin uh, endeavours. So right now we carry on round here. Good, and it's underground. It's a shame. Could have just gone under the bridge there. We'll maintain the closest, the tightest spiral possible as we head down. And uh, and off we go. What's that? That's another million quid. That's okay. That's not too bad. Uh, right. Money time. Yep. 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 There you go. Two point seven nine. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna make it all the way to the far end, are we? Still, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right. We have re-emerged here. So, pretty much as expected. Actually, that's that's how. Yeah. Hmm. We've come out halfway down this hill. Right, where's where's the other end of the track got to? Right, there it is. It's over over here somewhere. Right. Should we should we try and as the crow flies again and see if it's uh, see if it's improved at all? 
Oh, obviously this is... Oh, hang on, look at that. You can get a long way there for not a lot of money. You probably ought to just take this, you know. Okay, all right. Uh, I mean, before you take it, you are going to just double check that it does everything you need it to, right? Uh, in terms of, of angle of attack and what have you. Uh, yeah, 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 that's all good. Right, angle of attack looks... Okay, because we're, we're trying to connect over there. Yeah, you've got plenty of room to do that. Uh, right, is this the best place for you to end up? You're in a tunnel, but you're doing that really lovely. Uh, tunnel, not tunnel, not tunnel, tunnel, not tunnel, all of that bit, uh, which which is just absolutely splendid to look at. Right, yeah, I took it. Yeah, I know. Unexpected. Item in the bagging area. Uh, right, okay, so here we go. Last leg will be this. Please don't crash. There we go. For 9 million, we can f sign this off. Except you won't be using that. It's going to be more than that. It's going to be... For 14 million, we can sign this off right now. How bad is that bridge? Actually, it's, it's not awful. It's not good. It's not what I would choose. But it's not... Off. This is a heck of a line. I've said it before, and I'm saying it again now. This map does lead, lend itself to some very pretty lines. Um, right now, if I think we can be a bit smarter here, I think we can. We can definitely get it down below 14 million. That's a given, and we do that by trying to thread uh, along the side of the, the the hills and the mountains here, rather than. Uh, rather than punching a hole through every single one of them. Uh, do we want to spend the 700 grand to do that bit? Yeah, because then we'll, we'll, we'll try and whiz around the end of that bit there. Now, that's going to involve a bridge because there's some water in it. Look, water. <clears throat> I know. What are you going to do? Right, so if we then come around... No, around... Look, I just said what I was going to do. Why are you now? Why are you now acting against me? Right. Well, hold on. Let's uh, let's see what that's done to things. Uh, it will now do the whole job for four point six million. Well, gosh, are you telling me that that little eight hundred grand stretch that I just did saved me ten million quid? Well, there's a there's a thing, and that to me suggests that uh, by continuing to work in that way. You'll save even more money. It's going back uphill. We've gone we've gone lower than we actually need to. Now, that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. Uh, especially since I'm not going to do anything about that because uh, I, I, we're not going to be spending the money twice. Right, come up to level. 236k. Yes... Uh, 236k. If we bottom out there. Now, again, this is heavy freight that we're running down here. So we don't need a massive amount of, uh, of, of what? A, a top speed capability. Uh, we may well run things that are capable of doing uh, 100. That's, that's p quite plausible. But, uh, yeah, keep it going. If anybody else, incidentally, would like to start earning some money while I'm doing this so I don't have to keep touching my bank account, that would be that would be marvellous. Right, we're gonna, gonna start going uphill here. Just a little bit, but if I can if I can avoid building another tunnel, it'll save some cash. Uh, stick another another girder bridge in there. Yeah, keep going. Right. Okay, last quote was four and a bit million. Current quote is not it's not gonna be any lower than that. Yeah. Cause we're not we're not made we're not able to make significant changes now to to really affect the the angle of attack, basically. Um you know what, four and a bit million. I've got that in the bank. We could just pay it and move on. Yeah, but you haven't got much left after that, have you? You've got two million in the bank. You can't even afford it. Oh, well. Right, okay, well, bring it out to the end of this tunnel here, and then we'll just have to wait until we've got a bit more cash. 
300k, look at that, that's, that's a nice cheap bit. And there's, there's just, no, there's no way of avoiding it. This is now going to, it's now going to cost what it costs. Unless you can think of anything else. Well, you could bulldoze this back because that's got a slight upward bend to it and go down instead, which makes your bridge shorter, which means that your bridge is going to be cheaper. Good luck. I'm not sure I hold with this move, but, you know, give it a go. Right. There you go. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 200k or 160. 150. Running along the side of this hill. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Okay, so that's the, we just spent an extra 150 there on relaying that bit of track. Has it knocked down the price? Our survey says... You knows it. Okay, good. That's, I think... Yeah, that's the one we're going to take. Right, get the right bridge in. Is everybody happy with this? More or less, take it. There we go. Right, connection made. Now, I, I, I would like to call back to uh, earlier on in today's show where, where I said we might only make it as far as wherever it was that we were only going to make it as far as, but we've actually... Uh, uh, I've done it. it I, that, that's, that's not bad going. I didn't have much of a budget to get this done. We've got a helix. We've got a really attractive route going around that way. None of it's double-tracked. Yeah. Um, it's not even fully connected. Oh, hold on. It almost is. It almost, it almost is. If we now do that, right? Obviously, I'm going to need some money. If we now do that, it's connected. Yes, it is. Yeah, we'll change it later. But we're only going to be able to run one train on here anyway. Um, and that train is going to cost an absolute packet to... Uh, to get established um yeah it's gonna cost a fortune and it's a long route as well this is gonna be a 30 minute or if it's a if it's a minute um you're gonna need a lot of trucks at both end do we have any kind of so if we're coming in here yeah you can do the citadel you can do caprica you can distribute to those two and make a bit of cash out of that end obviously we'll be taking um uh, bricks back with us. We'll be taking construction materials back with us, and that will have uh, a decent amount of profit associated with it as well. But frankly, if I can get a 500 unit train running up here, the the payday that it is going to create out the other end is going to be enormous. Right. Put the put that junction in. Okay. So we've now got a full connection running from here round to down here so we could if we wanted to now route this onto the passenger line i hear you screaming i'm doing it anyway there you go uh, and then you're going to want to double slip that so it can come back out the other way sling a signal or two on this oh i know yeah i'm i am doing this you know i'm prepping to uh, to stick a goods train on the passenger line just so that I don't have to build any more track for the moment. I know it's not expensive track because uh, we've already got the, the line kind of plumbed in. And then heading... Why are you on that side of the track? What the heck are you thinking? Look, we've got, we have, we've got three trains on here, you know? You, you aren't allowed to do that. Why are you doing that? If you came down this side, you would end up coming in to... So I'm just making sure this is connected properly. Yeah, you'd, you'd come into the platform... Uh, what's that going to be? Four rather than three. Okay, so the route's to blame. Well, the route and, of course, you, given that... Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, we haven't got any points. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, then. Right, well, let's fix that while we're here. Basically, where I'm getting to now is I'm going to get this ready for uh, for the next episode where hopefully we'll stick a freight train on here. Right, stick that on there. If I can turn this into a... Uh, 
into a what's it, a diamond, then uh, then that will be helpful. But honestly, I haven't really got... Oh, oh, no, we had it. There you go. But it's too much slope, which means it's trying to do it on a slope, which means it's not going to work. However, what we can do is we can change up the platform at this end to be... Uh, where, where are we? Oh, Alpha Complex. All right, we're on three. We want to be on four. Wait till this train leaves. Otherwise, it's just going to make sad faces at you. Go on, get out. Get, get out. Get out of my station. Come on, look. The nice people are waiting for me to, to wrap this up with some kind of startling whatever is going to occur next. Get out. Thank you. Right, there you go. Four. D just double check that that worked. You assumed it did. No, you see, look, it's not... You, it's, it's, uh, what? No, use the thing in the tunnel. Oh, for pity's sake. I'm going to need to relay quite a lot of this, but I've, I have been building in a way that says you're going to need to relay quite a bit of this. There you go, stick that in there. You've just put a signal in a tunnel. You know that's not going to be easy to deal with later on. Why are we now? Why? Give me a reason. Because it... Okay, right. Fine. I can fix that by doing this. Yeah, I know. Amazing how I know what it's going to do. One might very well suggest that I've done enough of this that I, I kind of have a feel for what it's going to get up to. All right. Now, given that we're going to be running uh, freight up here as well as passengers, I'm going to over-signal to, uh, to create a few more blocks in there so that we can keep things rolling. Uh, right. That now puts our freight train on the pink line here. Having a pink line highlighted might not... No, it's a terrible idea. Right. Then we get down here where things take a turn for the congested. Right, then you've got triple track for literally a second. Although, that said, it could be bridged up as a standalone track. That could be interesting, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, what I'm considering there is if... So, this bridge is able to be double-tracked. It's not inexpensive to do so, which is why I haven't done it yet. Um, there just isn't the volume of trains to, to make it worthwhile. But if we triple-track here, so we, we spin the freight out onto a sideline, through some clever signalling, we might make it so that, uh, so that passenger trains have the opportunity to overtake. It's going to be a tricky one, but it's still possible. Uh, anyway, then you get the, the high levels of drama that is the single track station going through City 17. Now, I think later on, the way to go with that is going to be to spin off the freight line and uh, and run kind of a, an exterior uh, bridge that goes round the outside of City 17, which, if done well, could look quite pleasant uh, before it comes back and gets back on the main line again. Speaking of which, we have a third track here. Give me a give me a quote on uh, on running around here. I'm, I'll I'll even pay for it if it's not too expensive. Ah, stuff it, just pay for it. Uh, right, keep going. We've got to get all the way to Stone, which is there. There's only one on the whole map, and frankly, it's also quite close to uh, to the port that I built recently. So why I'm not uh, why I'm not shipping this by uh, uh, by ship is uh, is potentially a mystery. Uh, right, you've got your third platform there. We'll, we'll run. Oh dearie me, this is going to be quite hideous. Go like that. How much speed are you going to lose there? Because we really can't afford to be losing any 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 velocity at all. Well, well, hold on. Look, look. You need the tunnel to work. Did, aren't you into the territory of this is the next episode now? I mean, what's what's your objective? So that's 31, which is too slow. You can't afford to be burning speed off your, uh, off your freight train once it's in motion. 73. That's okay. Even then, you might lose a little bit of speed. But it's not as terrible as what you'd got before. Oh, my giddy aunt. Okay, well, I can't afford that. Uh, right. 
stone, truck stop, station. That's what we're doing next time. Um, I may need to roll forward by a chunk to make that happen, because uh, uh, I ain't got any money. Um, anyway, stick with it. There's, there's more to come. I've been Colonel Failure. Let's find you something aggressive and interesting to look at. Um, I have no idea. Oh, that's a nice bit of green bridge. And some trucks and a, and a green bridge. Trucks and a green bridge. There you go. That's your run out for today. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to make sure you keep up with the series, despite the fact that you're already subscribed, because you know what you're doing. Uh, I'll be back very soon with the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Well, I genuinely hadn't expected to get this far today. Uh, I, 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 I really thought that we'd probably only make it, you know, a couple of metres down the road, and, uh, and that would be a lot after quite a lot of faffing around with some track. But uh, instead, what we've got is what I believe is going to be a very, very attractive uh, freight route. Uh, the only real challenge that, uh, that presents itself there is exactly what consist am I going to run down there. Uh, we'll run, um, we'll probably run Nafi's cars, I know, uh, just because it opens up more opportunities to, to kind of move stuff about. If we can get some oil onto this track as well, so much, well, I say onto, onto this track, onto this line, if we can get some oil on the line as well, then, uh, then the return leg could be very profitable indeed. In fact, there's nothing to stop now, that's interesting. There's nothing, nothing to stop the uh, the construction materials that we're manufacturing being dropped off and then ferried to the port, can, the, the, which can then be picked up by ships and distributed accordingly. There's a lot of opportunity going on here, and once this line is in full flow, it should make an unholy amount of money every time we get a train arrive, and uh, and the goal's going to have to be get two or three trains punctuating that line uh, frequency nicely. Mm-hmm.